Well, it's a pleasure to be in front of my solar size family again. We had uh, inclement weather here, uh, snow and traffic, and it's, um, it's been quite a winter here in Utah. So we're, sorry, we're starting just a little bit late. But welcome. We're going to read some customer reviews. We're going to answer some questions. And then I'm going to bring my daughter up, and we're going to create a new routine for building up strength and, and fitness in different areas of the body. So if you have your solar sizer, we want you to, to, be, uh, to be ready for us. I heard a story. Somebody who wants to think you want to get strong real fast, you can get a couple uh, five pound potato bags. You start off by holding the potato bags out to the side until you can get up to a minute. And then you graduate from a five pound potato bag to a 10 pound and then 20 pound and then 50 pound potato bag all the way up to a hundred pound potato bag. You want to get to the point where you can hold them there for at least a minute and then start all over by putting a potato in each bag. Oh, that's so <laughs> All right, here we go. This is from, from Brad. I really appreciate this, Brad. He goes on, he says, I met David Hall at the health fair in Cleveland, Ohio, over 20 years ago. I purchased a cellar sizer. I had probably jumped up and down on it millions of times. I use it almost every day and it is still in great shape. This past weekend, I went to the boat show with my daughter and her husband. We were standing on a boat and the salesman said to my son-in-law, who is that with you? My son-in-law said, I was his father-in-law. The salesman was very surprised. I am 68 years old and I have the body and energy of a 21 year old. I believe the cellar sizer helps keep my facial muscles toned. That means I do not have a double chin like most people my age, nor do I move like most people my age. I no longer do competitive athletics. However, my athletic goal is now to tire out the grandchildren, the grandkids. David, thanks for making an outstanding product. I want to talk a little bit about that. Um, the cellar sizer is designed to last, and that's because of the matte material that we use, because of the steel that we use within the springs themselves, and not cheap steel. They're expensive. That's what makes a unit cost a little bit more. But we have people using it 20, 25, 30 years later. And it's, it's, it holds up. It does great. I want it to be something that you can invest in one time and that you can have for the rest of your life. Um, they've got other kind of units out there. And I'm going to address this just for a moment because we get a lot of... If you have a bungee cord unit, I'm not here to disparage the bungee cord unit. But at the same time, I don't want them compared to a cellar sizer, which they often try to do. They're fun to jump up and down on. But by definition, bungee cords are rubber bands. And rubber bands warm up, cool down. Every time they warm up and cool down, you lose a little bit more elasticity. They're going to start to break down. What I want you to be concerned about, because I love this industry, is as they break down, if they get too soft or as they get too soft, and your feet start to pronate like this toward the middle, if you're noticing ankle problems, knee problems, or hip problems, you might want to consider either replacing the rubber bands, which is how they make their, you know, good deal of their money, or, or get a, a good quality unit with good steel springs. They say that, well, first off, you've got synthetic rubbers that do a lot of off-gassing, and then you've got natural rubber. The problem with natural rubber is they don't hold up as well as the synthetic rubber and they break down faster. So just something to keep in mind is that if your feet are pronating like this and you're hurting, you might want to consider um, changing the unit or, or getting new cords. All right. So Yolanda says, Hello, I want to say that the cellar size was the best thing I ever bought for fun and exercise. I'm writing because my granddaughter pulled one of the black rubber foot grippers off and lost it. Is it possible to buy extra ones from you? Thank you and you have a great day. Thank you, Yolanda. We have replacement parts for anything you may need. 
on the on the solar sizes. So that's uh, never there's never been a problem. All right. So Robert writes about a year ago. You helped me out. I felt so cared for. Even now, I still appreciate what you did for me. All right. Besides all that, she wants to get a, a cellar sizer in another area of the country. And she says, all right, besides all that, here's a quick success story. Cellar sizing has been a part of my life now for three years. I'm in my 70s with very little inflammation throughout my body. During my three-year journey, I formulated my morning wake-up call routine, meaning a series of bounces that gradually brings my body up to a functional daily speed. Starting with the health bounce for two minutes, then a series of neck exercises, shoulder movements, side bends, I follow, followed by one minute or two of the hip rocks and then the twist, and a two-minute or one-minute jumbo walk between hip and twist. Then I end off with a baby bounce for about two minutes, breathing deep and rhythmically. And all those movements you can add to the Mr. Rebounder app. I'm sure she has. Sure, I'll toss in other routines now and then because you say play in. That protocol each morning has, has me fully operational for the day and is very much separated by my full workouts later on in the day. No matter my morning condition upon waking up, I do my routine. Sometimes I am sluggish beyond belief but I just do it. I step on my rebounder and start. 10 minutes later, I am the dark knight. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I am flexible, energized, and devoid of soreness or experiencing inflammation. A positive way on starting your day. So let me know the best way for travel. Which I did. All right. So Sue writes, I'm 65 years old and love my solar size. I use it every day for at least 30 minutes. I feel more like I'm 55. I bought my husband one also. He uses it every day as well. Thank you for helping us age gracefully. Thank you. Lorraine writes, My sister gave me her cellar sizer four years ago when she moved, and initially I was only using it for about five minutes in the morning. Having had another brand of Rebounder back in the day when they were popular, not really liking using it much, I didn't realize at first how different your solar size rebounders are. Fast forward to today. I've been doing your immune workout daily for over a year. And I also have used some of the other videos and usually bounce longer to my favorite music. You are correct. I'm playing and loving every minute of it. I call myself born again solar sizer and recommend it to everyone I meet. Recently recommended it to my son's mechanic who is telling me about his old injuries and daily pain. Thank you, Lorraine. Last May, I bought a trifold to take with me on a three-week vacation because I could not imagine bearing without it for that long or being without it for that long. It travels beautifully, and I'm so grateful and amazed at your engineering and design. Also, when I compared my sister's well-used cellar sizer to my new trifold, I was amazed that the action was the same. I guess I expected the older version to have more gift from years of use. I also use Total Gym for strength training, but I completely agree with you what you have said in your videos regarding how traditional strength training can cause problems. I have started to incorporate some strength training moves that you have shown on this cellar sizer. And when I'm using the Total Gym, I take one minute bounce breaks between sets. You mentioned how strength trainers have been doing that and had a achieve better results. My recent bone density test was excellent. Last Friday, my daughter, 24, and I went up to Davis to rock climb and my son, 22, who was attending college there. It was my first time and I loved it. And I was so pleased and grateful that I climbed straight up several times without feeling weak or winded. And although I like to think of myself as being age 38, I'm 62 years young. So, so grateful. Lastly, I've noticed many people in my age range seem to have given up hope or do not think there is a way to feel better, have more energy, and be physically younger. I want to buy them all a cellar sizer. You have spoken about mental and spiritual health, and I always appreciate that when you do. Everything starts with our thinking and what we are telling ourselves. 
and try, and I always try, to speak life to myself and others. God bless you and thank you from the bottom of my heart. You're making a huge difference in people's lives. Lorraine. And this is a 62-year-old Lorraine. And she's awesome looking. <laughs> she really is. Okay. I can't wait. All right. Newer to rebounding, I was told a few different things. I'm trying to lose 50 pounds and get the tone look, which I was told that over time rebounders... I look, I'm glad you wrote this because I really want to address this. That over time, rebounders stop progressing muscle and you'll have to lift weights for strength training and keep my body burning the fat and lift heavier over time. I don't have too much time to do both as my program is about half an hour on a rebounder as is. Should I keep my three days of strength training or is two upper bodies and a lower a week good enough to help or just rebounding I was or rebounding I was doing full bo full body day also but that's a lot of legs going on all week if I understand it correctly she's talking about strength training you get to a certain point you're not putting on more muscle it's interesting because and you've heard me share this before we're the only species in the world that is bought into weight training you're never going to see a dog, cat, monkey, or any other species of animal out there pumping iron weights or doing a lot of the crazy programs you see on, on television today. And yet they're very strong. Um, what happens when you're lifting weights is ligaments and tendons take time to catch up to the muscle. Muscle adapts faster. So when we're tearing down the muscle, which it literally is doing, it's, it's tearing it. And then, of course, you know, you, you apply... A protein patch to the tear and then you tear the patch and your body patches a patch and so on and so forth and you build the bigger muscles well in the process you can damage ligaments and tendons and joints as well when you build a muscle you get to a certain point and the ligaments and tendons have to catch up so when they catch up the muscle doesn't have to be as big because the body those ligaments and tendons you, you haven't lost strength you have the strength in the ligaments and tendons, but you're not having to push the muscles as far. So as, as, the, um, as you sell or size, you're, you may not build up bulky muscle, but it's not designed for that. You look again at a dog or a cat, they're, they're very agile, they're very, very strong, they leap over a six foot fence, but they're not bulky. The muscles are very soft when they're relaxed, but they're very strong when they're tense. Those are the kind of muscles you build with subtle size. So you don't really lose strength at all. Um, and you don't go backwards. I mean, I've, I've kept my physique pretty much ever since three years into subtle sizing. And I've been doing it now for over 30 years. And this is the only exercise that I get. So it's, it's not bad. Um, it actually, it, it works well. You can do the other programs if you choose to. But you can also build muscles and strengthen muscles by increasing the stress to the actual cell membrane of the muscle by leveraging your body weight, doing different movements that target certain muscle groups, even though the rest of the body collectively is always working together as a whole. So there are a lot of advantages um, on cellular size because, again, as you alter the angle of your body, you can focus the weight on different areas. We'll do some of that tonight. But the rest of the body is also becoming strong in an altered position. And you don't get that through typical exercise. So that, again, will give you a better competitive performance in virtually everything you do. So my abs are weak. If you could do a short abdominal video for that, I would appreciate it. I can't keep up with the ones I'm finding online. Our Mr. Rebounder app is wonderful for targeting certain areas of the body. You've got 65 different movements now that are included in the Mr. Rebounder app. So you can literally go and create your own routine and do it as much as you want or create as many routines as you want that focus directly on those areas of the body you want to focus on. What is the best way to strengthen your neck muscles? One of my jobs is to look up for long periods of time and my neck muscles are so sore and tight the next day. So do you want to strengthen them or do you want to loosen them? There's two different 
techniques. Brooklyn, can they see me when I'm on this? Okay, so if you want to loosen the muscle, we have, we have some different movements that you can do that again are on the Mr. Rebounder app, but go gentle, because next, um, you want to increase circulation and you don't want to just be aggressive, because nothing worse than having a pinched neck. But if you take your hand and you stretch those muscles, just stretch them, get to the point where you feel a little stretch, and then gently bounce, allow the movement to massage it. If you want to strengthen the muscles, instead of tilting it this way, you push it this way. So now you're pushing the muscles, and you can resist your hands as you're bouncing up and down to increase the circulation. You can do the same thing on the other side as you push. And you do the same thing on the back. So instead of stretching, you're resisting. And on the, the forehead, um, you're, you're pushing this direction instead of just tilting your head back. So hopefully those are some, some good exercises you can look at. All right. What exercises would you recommend for someone feeling like they get shortness of breath? They had COVID a year ago, but I feel like it's weakened their lungs and they're wanting to heal and strengthen them. They have a cell massage. I would love some video links to share if you have them. And we do. We have them on our, our YouTube channel. Um, but I'll show you a, a technique that you can do. And again, you can create these movements on the Mr. Rebounder app as well. But, and these are ones that I did when I also had to go through the COVID. But it's a, a breathing technique. You're on the mat the whole time. You bend at the knees. Hands are about here. You're going to stand up, breathe in. Come down, breathe out. It's all done through the mouth. This is an exercise for the bronchial tubes and the lungs. It gets the other one-third of the lung that many people don't get enough oxygen to anyway. It also opens up the, lar the larynx and strengthens diaphragmatic breathing. So if you are a singer or an announcer or a radio host or, or your voice is really important, um, this can be a really good program for that too. So it goes just like this. You're on the mat and never leave the mat. But the pumping up and down is also helping to improve the lymph system throughout the whole chest cavity and increase oxygen in your tissues as you're moving up and down. So that's good too. It goes like this. And when you first start to do it, you may notice a little bit of wheeziness in the bronchial tubes and the lungs, and that's common because you're exercising the lungs. If you do too much of it to, be, to begin with, you've got to be careful also because those lungs can be sensitive and that increase of oxygen can actually make you a little bit dizzy. So be, be careful with those. All right. Where is the best place to find beginner just starting out routines for someone 60 plus? I'm not weak, but need routines to gradually work my way up into this so as not to get overwhelmed. There seems to be too many things to choose from across multiple sites. And you know, I, it, you're talking my language because there's a lot of fancy things you can go on your solar size if that's what you want. Mine are basic. They're just really basic movements, but they work. And that's why I designed them. If you want to know how to begin, I... The, again, the Mr. Rebounder app. If you go to MrRebounder.com, take a look at that because it will have beginning, intermediate, advanced, seniors, um, as well as create your own. So it takes you through gradual movements that are designed to help you improve in your strength and flexibility. Brooklyn, do we have any questions? Um, I have a labral tear and bone on bone in my hip. Is it okay to still do light workouts on my cellar sizer? Yeah, again, it, that's, it becomes a medical question, so I have to suggest consult with your doctor. But there are movements on the cellar sizer, just like this, which is not very invasive it, to any muscle or ligaments. But it's weightless weight, so it is pumping circulation. And it's massaging the tissue. It's helping to reduce inflammation. It's also weight-bearing. So you have all of those benefits just by doing this. Eventually, what you're able to just spreading the feet apart a little bit and gently rocking side to side, you're going to work to strengthen those supporting muscles and ligaments 
all around the hip joint area. Now, doctors know bones and muscles heal faster and grow stronger when exposed to some stress. That's the idea behind the walking cast. So just these movements right here, again, I don't know your situation, but these can be very, very beneficial and have been very beneficial for people that have had hip issues um, as well as knee issues. Um, so hopefully that will help. Any other questions? Brickman or Liberty, where is she? <laughs> Come on up, Liberty. All right, so I want to do a strength program today, and it has been one of those days that you're actually going to be on this one right here. Um, but I asked Liberty, who's in phenomenal shape, she exercises every day, so I know she's going to be able to keep up with her. Can I keep up with hers? What the real question is going to be. But um, we're going to do some strength exercises that you can follow along with. Uh, we'll do movements that will be on the Mr. Rebounder app. Brooklyn, can you write down each one of the movements that we do? Because we're going to be making this up as we go along. And then I will post those movements so that if you have the Mr. Rebounder app, you can actually put it into your routine, change it up, do those things that uh, we feel good about. So we're going to start with just a gentle moving up and down, which is a warm up for the tissue. So Brooklyn, if you could write these down. We're warm up, we're gonna do this. Um, I should probably have a timer up for about a minute. Are you using the iPad, Brooklyn? Mm -hmm. Keep going. I'm going to put a little timer. You're not using this, right? Keep going, baby. Keep going. You do it, bro. All right. And then we're going to add a little hip rock to there. As we're doing a little hip rock, we're just kind of loosening up, getting the body prepared. You lift those shoulders up and down a little bit. You start to stretch the back. If you concentrate when you're doing it, if you really kind of lift those shoulders, you might feel a little more stretch in the in the back or midsection of the body as well. Don't overdo it, but just kind of get a little bit of this in here. And now, if we're going to go from there, you tilt the head a little bit, tilt it the other way a little bit. You're getting shoulder movement, which helps to stretch the muscles in the neck, and that can help with the tension as well. Yes, a minute of that. Now we're going to do a little gentle twisting. Again, we're loosening up the lower back. We're also working on those internal organs some. And getting rid of any blockages. Increase that circulation. So we'll do this for another 10 seconds. Okay, and then now we're going to do the breathing exercise so we get the oxygen pump in the body so we can utilize the nutrients more efficiently. So it's going to go like this. All right, that's good. All right, a little more twisting. Okay, so let's start from the top down and we're going to work on um, what I call, well, the natural face lift. Okay, and it's done by, we're gonna tighten the muscles in the face to a certain point, and then we're gonna be bouncing and working on our stomach muscles. But as we're doing that, the facial, the collagen, and the, the uh, has, uh, well, basically it's the collagen, and the, the muscles will be held in one place. The collagen will start to adapt to the to the um, muscles around the face. So it sounds like this. We're going to tilt backwards, and we'll count. Let's do two sets of fifty for everybody. So we're going to work seven muscles here. Tilt backwards a little bit. You can just jog like this if you'd like, but we're going to be doing it this way. So one, two, three. 
six. If you do the, the facial exercises, just you smile with your cheeks and then hold the position. And you should feel it in your cheek muscles. So. You know how many that is literally? Mm -hmm. I was not counting. No, I'm sorry, we keep going forward. We're going to do another 15 seconds. Okay, so now we're going to do a little squeeze. And that's the first set. And then we're going to do it for another minute. So we'll do this just for a moment. Just try to work at lifting those legs up a little bit higher. You take your hands and feel how tight your stomach muscles are. You're doing an isometric, which is toning because you're tilted the whole time. But you're also doing an isotonic, which is building. This is how I got my stomach muscles. I'm sore. Do you feel soreness? No, I'm sore from... Gym. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, we went to, uh, what was it called? Flow's Extreme Sports or something? Like yeah. The place that had a obstacle course, like an American Ninja type thing. And we did that Saturday night. And yeah. I felt it too. Kept up with them though. All right, now we're gonna work on the waist and the hips, the side. Now you can do more repetitions of that too. In fact, if you do, if you do more repetitions, you're gonna get more of the, the burn in that area. So right now, we're gonna work on the waist and the hips. So taking out side to side. And there's two ways of doing this. You can keep your back or your body straight, or you can actually tilt a little. If you tilt a little, you're actually going to be more effective in really working those, those muscles right there. Now keep in mind, you're still working the rest of the body. You're working the entire body, even in an alpha position. Whereas with typical calisthenics, you're just doing something like that. So, this is a lot more intense. Don't overdo it. Another 10 seconds. Okay, now we're going to loosen up a little bit. So you really want to kind of turn those hips if you can. Again, don't overdo it, but if you can do that. All right, we're going to go again. Out to the side. After this, we'll work on the back and then we'll come back up to the shoulders, the arms, and the chest.
And again, all these movements are all the Mr. Reap under F, so if you wanted to just do it without having to listen to somebody talk, you can do that. We usually, we always, we watch, and everybody does it every night, sometimes more than once. We'll watch a show. We'll turn on the Mr. Rebounder app, and then we watch the app, and it will ding in between each movement. So we're watching the show. It dings, and before we know it, we're done with the routine, and we've been enjoying the show. Okay, so let's work on the back now. You can do that simply. Don't try to lift. <laughs> a lot of people, the back is a weak area, okay? So you're just going to lift the heel back like this. And if you can do it further, great, but if you can't, don't. But I'm going to do a, a little more of an advanced movement for those who are able. And it's just moving the arms up and down. Keeps me more centered on the mat, but I'm also working all the shoulders and the arms too. another 30 seconds. Fifteen. And this will help lift, tighten, and tone the buttocks, as well as strengthen the lower back. All right, now we're going to do a little twisting which I think is really important after you do the back more. Ready to do that one again? Yeah. You can turn to the side and pull on the bar with one hand. That's what I can do. Okay. Good. All right, here we go. You know people that are hesitant because we don't cut any corners on the cellar sizer, so it's all the same quality materials that we've always used. But the material holds up. The matte material is made here in the United States. It's a polypropylene where every fiber is put under nearly 200 tons of pressure which is what makes it so, so good. It won't stretch out. It'll support your feet. Did I go over a minute? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sorry guys. Okay, and we'll stop. <laughs> and then we're gonna do, let's do the gentle hip rock with a slight twist so we can loosen that back up a little bit. And, you know, to me, this is fun. It's just playing, and yet I know the resistance on all the cells is keeping the body circulating, flexible, and strong. All right. So, what do you want to work on first, neck? Sure. Okay, so we're going to work on the neck. And this one's not stretching, it's going to be more strengthening. So let's start off by putting a hand on the side of our head, and we're going to resist or push our head toward our hand and have our hand resist it as we move up and down. The reason 
we keep moving up and down is that it adds an additional weight to the cell tissue, but it's also moving fluid and circulation to that area of the body. Okay, now let's do it on the other side. Okay, we're going to do back again on this side. And you very well may feel some of this tomorrow, but it's gentle. And we can literally, we can strengthen our necks and as well as increase flexibility on the other side. And you can do several repetitions of this one as well as you're building it up and getting stronger. Okay, hand on the front forehead. You're pushing down with the forehead and resisting with your hand. And then on the back, you're pushing back. If you can use both hands, great, but you're tilting the backwards while you're resisting. Okay, and we're going to start one more set. We're going to push with her to the right. And then to the left. And this can be extremely helpful for people that have weak necks or neck issues to the front because it's. It, it, it does a lot more than just strengthen. In increasing circulation, you can help disc and bone move into position. It's a pretty balanced movement. So even though you're doing one side, you're also doing it to the other side. You're bouncing up and down with equal force. Okay, we're going to do to the back. Okay, now we're going to do shoulder movements, and we're going to start off, and these are again are in the mystery bounder app. So we put them straight in front of us, and we're going to do circles. And if you have a shoulder issue, this is, you're going to feel it. You're going to work the shoulders, and that's okay. All right, out to the side. Ten more seconds. And then we're going to do it up above, if you can. <laughs> okay, so it's top. Again, they're no nonsense movements, but they build strength. 
in our joints with our ligaments and with our tendons. Okay, and we're going to go in, in front. Now if you, you can really, you can increase the intensity. When you're holding them out, but you're also bouncing, you're leveraging the weight right there in the deltoids. And that's, it's not just working the muscle though. You're working the ligaments, the tendons, the circulation out to the side. And hopefully some of you are beginning to feel a little bit of that. Is it feeling at all? Yep, I'm good, I'm good. All right. 10 more seconds and then we'll be overhead one more time. Okay, up to the top. Thank you for that. I want to thank Brooklyn for being here. She came, she's working as a nurse now and came from Salt Lake to, to help her dad. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to loosen that up a little bit just by doing a little bit of the shoulder swings. Again, all this is on the mystery bound wrap, so we'll, we'll include those. There's more movements that you can do for shoulders on the app, but hopefully you're beginning to feel some of this, because this itself, we're stretching, but we're also building. It's still weight bearing. You should be able to feel some of that in your shoulders now. So I'm going to do this another 30 seconds. The bouncing helps us prevent uh, lactic acid buildup because it pumps the lymph system so that you don't get as sore as you might with typical exercise. Okay, almost done with this. All right, so there's the shoulders. Work the chest. It's also going to work the shoulders. So we're going to take our hands, cup them in front, lift the elbows up, and we're just going to press in. And then think in terms of moving that chest up. You want to keep your elbows out. You're doing it just fine. People say, they always say, you can't get that just bouncing up and down on a solicizer. I've heard that for 30 years. Well, we have. <laughs> okay, we're going to go another 30 seconds. Yes. We're going to do uh, our next movement will be to cup our hands together. We should be feeling this in our shoulders now, as well as hopefully in our chest. Um, and then we're going to do a arch our back a little bit, cup our hands together. We're going to work the back and the shoulders. So five seconds. So like this, and just kind of arch the back a little bit. This is real important because the the back muscles are often neglected, and when you're arching the back and we're pulling apart. We're going to be really working the upper back, the triceps. You're still working the whole back because you're, um, you're bouncing and it's weight bearing. But as we're arching the back and working to strengthen that, we're helping to support the scapula, the muscles along the, the back of the shoulder, um, which can become problematic. Um, if we don't keep them in good shape. So. Remember where we started? We can go like 
Okay, so now we're going to push in again, like this. So you're working in what level now? Trauma. Trauma? Yeah. Trauma. Yeah. Thank you. So step down ICU. Step down from ICU. Yeah. Is that next? <laughs> oh boy. Are there arm exercises for a frozen shoulder? Yeah. Yeah, let's do the let's do the frozen shoulder in a moment. Okay, we're gonna do another pull out. And again, kind of want to arch that back a little bit. Because if you're like me, you sit at a desk a lot. And gravity is always pulling down, so our shoulders can start to to droop. And you see a lot as we get older too, as people get older. But this one helps to strengthen the muscles. Skeletal system is dependent upon the muscle. It doesn't support itself. So as we strengthen these muscles, it can help lift up and improve our posture as well. As well as the support in the back. Okay, 15 more seconds. We do one or two of the chest pushing in. We did two. Okay. All right. And we'll do the shoulder. Okay. Okay. So what I want to do right now is a hip rock. Lift those shoulders up and down a little bit, so we can help loosen things off. Should be feeling good. And that's the whole objective. We want to feel good. Okay. Now we're, we're gonna just go through. If you've got a, having a harder time with the shoulders, just some simple movements. Just three things, and we'll get back to uh, some strength movements. But take your elbows and stick them in front, just like this. And if you put your fingertips on your deltoids, on the shoulders, you're going to feel a huge dynamic if you really dig in there. Because the tissue is going from weightless to weight, weightless to weight. It's a literal massage. But it's also weight there, so it can help strengthen as we're moving fluid to promote the whole healing process. And then what we want to do, if you have a, a frozen shoulder, you can take one hand, lift it, put it underneath the elbow, and gently lift it up to where you feel the stretch. Now, if you can't go that high, it's okay. You just go up to where you're comfortable and continue to bounce. If you don't have a shoulder that's bothering you, you can lift both elbows up and just... Down, second down. Do that for a few more seconds. And then out to the side. So those are the three movements that we use to help open up the shoulder. And uh, I, it has helped me <laughs> tremendously. So, and then just, do, just keep doing those movements. Now, you can either do other shoulder stretches, which I show also in the Mr. Rebounder app by covering your arm underneath and gently stretching. And those are stretch movements, but tonight we're going to be working more on muscular. So, we work the chest, we work the shoulders, um, we work the side with the kickouts. Let's work on the arms. So, we're going to do our old arm curl and what this does is it's a resistance movement with weight and we I do it the mystery bound route actually does it to the count of two so we can do that. Um, I usually do it to the count of four but it's ready? Okay. One, two, one, two, 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 three, two, three, two, four. Two, four, two. You want to really push and 
and resist as you do those movements up and down. Seven, two, seven, two, eight. You think of, I don't know if any of you are familiar, remember who Bruce Lee was, but Bruce Lee wasn't bulky. He didn't have a lot of big muscles, but let me tell you, he was strong. He could do one finger push-ups. I mean, he was strong throughout his whole body. And he did a lot of the resistance movements that really worked on strengthening his core and, and his... Um, all the muscles. The advantage of cellar size, and it would have been an advantage for him as well. I hope you keep me counting. I'm sure we're back to 20 now. Okay, 20. Keep going. <laughs> I want you to count, okay? All right, toss. Okay. 23. 27, 1, 2. 27. So 27 up, 27 down. 28. Good. All right. So he, the advantage of cellar size is you're going to improve your balance. And most exercises, you are limited in your ability to improve your balance because most exercises are never really truly working the body collectively as a whole. So it's not going to be as balanced. It's going to be stronger in some ways. But if you want to have, and I've mentioned before, a better martial arts experience, cellar size first. And see how much better you do. If you want to have a better yoga experience, cellar size first. Because one of the advantages of cellar size is you're not just working the muscles, you're also working the fascia. It's weight bearing on all the protein fibers throughout your entire body. How many? Yeah. You lost count? I was listening to you. Oh, okay, that's all right. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna switch arms right now. We'll probably do that to about 50 or 60 um, when I give it to you. So let's start the other arm. Okay, one, two, 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 three, two, four, and really kind of focus. You can make as much resistance as you can comfortably make without hurting yourself because you're only using your own strength. You're not. Uh, you're not likely you're going to tear anything at all when you're solo cycling. Eight. Two. Ten. Two. Oh, really? Good hey, girl. I got an oil that's been a while. That's a brand new unit. I oiled that today. Go ahead and bounce, keep bouncing. Do you have any extras? How quiet that is? Oh, um, yeah, we need to get you one, huh? Brooklyn just found an apartment up there in Salt Lake, so I gotta get her her solar sizer. And yes, we've got one downstairs in awesome. the theater room. Yeah, you can have that one. Well, why not? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> it is good. It's gonna be. But I'm gonna oil it because it's not the springs that are squeaky. I think it's the uh, frame. Make it roll the frame. The hinges. And trifolds, if you notice squeaking on a trifold, often it's not if you oil the springs, it's often not the spring, it's the hinges. So it's just a little well in the hinges. I usually do it once and that's it, but I think I better do it on this one. But keep in mind, this unit here is 17 years old. And it use, it's, we use it every single day. And we have for 17 years. So. <laughs> what number we on? 36. 36. 
And um, this girl says she works in a cafe and she's having a lot of foot pain. Oh. Um, she's wondering if it would still be appropriate for her to sell her size. Oh, I don't know a better way to get rid of the stress and the tension in the feet. Um, other than a massage, if you can find somebody to massage your feet, that's great. But cellular size, the rocking side to side can help release the stress and tension in the foot. The gentle lifting of the heels up and down is going to work on the muscles. Um, and, and you can do that. But then when you're done, just do the gentle rocking side to side again. Just let me see how. We've been doing for over a half hour. Yeah, we've been doing over a half hour. Okay, we're going to do one more. Um, when you're lifting your heels up and down, you are working the calf muscle. That's very important. So you can stand there, lean back a little bit, and just pump the calf muscles by lifting the heels up and down. Those calf muscles are very important because they help reduce edema, swelling, can help prevent varicose veins. When they get weak, we lose, it's harder for the heart to pump circulation from the lower extremities <clears throat> back up to the heart. So this leaning back movement, <clears throat> lifting the heels up and down, that's gonna to start to really pump them and strengthen the calf muscles. Wonderful, wonderful technique. Dad, do you know what Releve is? Hmm? When you go up on Releve? Like, oh yeah, for Can your... that like improve it, doing this? Or what could improve that? Hmm. That's a ballet movement. Um, I wouldn't doubt it. I have to try and see what you do, but I would think so. That's a, that's a good, good question. Okay, well, we're going to end up with the big muscles. Um, we did the upper buttocks by doing the kickouts back here. Now we're going to do some jumbo run. So I know you all love and hate that. So we're just going to, you can lift your feet up a little bit or not. See, that's why I know it's not the springs. And I lost count. I don't count. I just do it until I can't anymore. Really? Okay, we can do it until we can't do it anymore. No, I'm kidding. We'll do that. But it's a good burn. It's, a, it's just, you know, every time you do this, <coughs> you're burning calories. You're um, burning the glucose and the sugars in the bloodstream first, 10 seconds. And then, if you keep doing it, it's what really starts to burn off the white adipose tissue. The key, keep your back straight. Keep your back straight, keeps the weight on the thighs. Hey, thank you. Thanks for being a part. Um, we'll get a routine written up. So those of you who have the Mr. Rebound app can put it in your your app. But um, in the day, in the current conditions that we are in today, keep keep cellar sizing. It keeps the blood cells from getting sticky. If you are exposed to a virus or germ, the movement up and down can help the white blood cells move more freely through the body so they can seek out and destroy those foreign invaders. If you have any questions, give us a call. Please continue to share with those you love. And we welcome everybody who has a rebounder, whether, whether it's a solar side or not. It, it doesn't matter. Being able to work to help each of you reach your greater health potential is what our objective is. So thank you. Thanks for being a part. We'll talk to you in a couple weeks. Thank you, Vivian.